I'm going to go through a series of examples uh, that were in the chapter 23 notes. Again, I'm not going to go through the notes themselves. You can kind of read through and, uh, and see those, but uh, just focus on the examples. The first one that was given was 23.1. It says, what's the current in the circuit and the voltage across the resistor? Uh, first, you got to realize that if I just had asked about the uh, uh, voltage across each resistor, well, I know the resistance. The only thing I can use to find the voltage across is Ohm's law. All right, so I need V over R. All right, so I need to understand how much current is going through uh, each resistor and what the resistance, and I can find uh, the voltage. And again, this is a delta V, but you get the idea. So um, strategically, what we need to do is uh, find out how much current is flowing through before we can find the voltage for each one. Um, so this is like a, a current going through uh, water through a pipe, and you got to understand how much is being restricted by these resistors, because that's what resistors do. They restrict, uh, just like somebody stepping on a pipe here, or stepping on the hose here, or stepping on the hose here. They both slow down, so the question is uh, how much they slow down and what's the new cur uh, flow. All right, so uh, first thing we have to do is figure out the total amount of resistance. And so we do that using the idea of um, I'm going to shrink everything down to one, you know, what I call an equivalent resistance, one equivalent resistance, okay? And the battery is still 6 volts, right? Uh, that's, you know, that's fine. Um, but I need to figure out what this one equivalent resistance is. And this is going to be our, our common strategy. Well, what I noticed that if a charge leaves here, it has to go through this resistor, and it continues, and it, then it has to go through this resistor too. There's no splits, there's no other paths for this charge to take, so therefore these are in series. And so the equivalent resistance for these two right here, because they are in series, is just R1 plus R2. And I call this R1, this R2, okay? And so R1 is 40 ohms, and um, then R2 is 20 ohms, so my equivalent resistance is 60 ohms. Okay, now I have a simple circuit which I can apply Ohm's law to. Okay, a lot of this is going to be about Ohm's laws. For this simple circuit right here, how much current? is flowing through is the question. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I got a, a I equals V over R. My potential difference is six volts. My resistance is 60 ohms. All right, so my current is 0 0.1, 0 0.1 amps. Okay, uh, so that's my current that leaves the battery and as if I think about it, this is the current that goes through this equivalent resistance, which means it is also, and this is what I do whenever I think back, so this is my first answer right here. So first answer is 0 0.1 amps comes out of the battery, all right, and goes through the circuit. Now my second part says, what's the voltage across the resistor? Now my convention just to help with uh, readability is that whenever I work backwards, I work in a different color. So I'm gonna work in red, so I know that uh, 0.1 amps, right, leaves the battery and it goes through this equivalent resistor. Now if I work backwards to this one, that means 0.1 amps comes right here. All right, and the question becomes how much current goes through this resistor? Well, actually all of it, right, all of it goes through here. So I have a current through this one of 0 0.1 amps. All right, so if I know the current is 0 0.1 amps, that goes through, and now the resistance is 40, ah, then I can get back over here. So the resistor of 1 is the current through 1 times the resistance of 1. Uh, the potential difference, oh, sorry, that's what I'm solving for. So current through is 0 0.1 amps. Uh, the resistance of 1 is 40 ohms. So that means that there's 4 volts potential difference. Okay, so this is 4 volts between here and here is 4 volts of potential difference. 
All right, as I go through, and then I have another one. So the question becomes, how much current goes through this one? 0.1 amps went through here, all right? Uh, 0.1 amps had to go through this wire too. Oh, so this must also be 0 0.1 amps through here. Again, these are in series, which mean that the same amount of current has to go through both of them, okay? So now I do the same thing. The voltage of two is the current that's going through two times the resistance of two. All right, current going through is 0 0.1 amps. And the uh, resistance of two is 20 ohms. And so I get two volts. All right, now I use the loop rule to check this answer, all right, because I need to verify it. Uh, the loop rule says that if I start at a point here, and um, actually I'll change colors here just to do a checking color, so I'll make this, uh, let's make it green. That may show up. So here if I check, I start here. What happens if I go from a negative to a positive of this battery? Well, I gain six volts of potential. All right, as I go through, I am at positive six, I'm at positive six, well, what happens? I lose four volts. All right, so this is positive six. I lose four volts, so afterwards, all right, my potential is plus two. And then what happens here? Well, I just figured out that I lost two volts right there. And so I'm back down to zero, which is where I started right here. Okay, so I gained six, lost four, lost two, and then I'm back to zero. And the loop rule says that that is true. All right, so that's our first example right there. A uh, very simple circuit here. And so I'm uh, 